Have you been told that you need to put more stories in your presentations, but you're either not good at it or you just hate doing it? Conversely, have you been asked to dial back on your storytelling because you do it too much, too long, or too poorly? If you answered yes to either of these questions, you need the seven sentence story template. Hi, I'm Glenn Hughes. Welcome to Smart as Hell, where you'll find the tools to change your world one goal at a time. If you've read either Resonate or the HBR Guide to Persuasive Presentations by design guru Nancy Duarte, you may have seen my storytelling template. If you don't have either book, you should buy them. They're fantastic. You can also download the free template at my website, smartashell.com. First, let's be clear. Stories are not a substitute for data or logic in the world of business. Stories complement data. Either one alone is like standing on one leg. You can do it for a while, but it's easy to be thrown off balance. For every key point that I want to make in my presentation, I like to prepare at least one piece of logical evidence, usually data, and one piece of emotional evidence, usually a story. So how do you build a story? Well, you don't wing it, that's for sure. This is where the seven sentence story structure comes in. I developed this template to teach engineers how to communicate their amazing work to audiences that can't fully appreciate the data. With this format, you simply fill in the blanks and deliver a story in 30 to 60 seconds that will help your audience understand the power of your premise. We start by writing the seventh sentence first. It should complete the phrase, and that's why I say. For example, and that's why I say exercise is important, and that's why I say the oceans are in trouble, or and that's why we need $250,000 for this project. Now we write the story in six steps. First, we tell who, what, and where. This should sound familiar. Once upon a time, there was a monster in Transylvania. Or, in 1962, in Washington, D.C., Martin Luther King had a dream. Second, we set context. It was a dark and stormy night. Or, we had three straight product failures. Third, we defined the challenge. We had to beat our toughest competitor. Or, I was about to lose the girl. Or, I needed to raise one million dollars. The fourth sentence proposes a resolution. We decided to invest in laser technology, or I decided to meet that customer head on. This resolution doesn't have to be a success story. Many times the best stories tell about failure with a lesson learned. The fifth sentence is optional, but I recommend it. I call this the cliffhanger. Nancy calls it the complication. Others call it escalation. It's your chance to add a little drama. And then the downturn hit, or suddenly our competitors surprised us by lowering their prices. The sixth sentence is the actual resolution or the payoff. Did our intended resolution succeed or did it fail? And then we conclude with the most important point. And that's why I say stories are important. In seven sentences, we've brought life to a situation in a way that numbers cannot. So remember, if you need to tell better stories in your presentations, you should use the seven sentence story format because that's smart as hell.